Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment in just 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here. And we're looking in on the subject of today's build, which is Melipona Mountain. Melipona Mountain. And it's named after the Melipona Bee, as you see right here. Now, some fun facts about the Melipona Bee. It's a stingless bee, and it's indigenous to Mexico, and also apparently to Grand Vanillica, as we're coming to find out. Now, it's the only bee that pollinates the vanilla orchid, so if you want natural vanilla in the wild, you need the Melipona bee. And that's good news for us, because we've got them here. They seem to love that big mountain over there in the background, and thus the name Melipona Mountain. Now, we're gonna take advantage of that today and we're gonna be building out a vanilla plantation. We're gonna use our farming assets in a way that have, we haven't done before, just to create something that's a little different look and feel using this little hillside, small hillside in the foreground as kind of our backdrop. And then we're gonna put in a little, a little town in here that would allow us to do the processing of the vanilla, maybe somewhere down around in here somewhere. And then since those Melipona bees don't sting, I thought, what better location to put in a little kid's summer camp right in here. All right, so that should be a lot of fun. It's gonna be very different than our downtown builds that we've been doing over the last few episodes. And as the rain gently starts to fall, I think that's a good indicator that it's time for us to get building. Just threw a lot at you guys. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna come down in here and I'm gonna use my landscaping uh, pavement path. Let's do that. I've got my parallel mode set for you know an offset of two. And I'm gonna take this up to 2.5 meters. I've got all my snaps turned off and I just have the show contour lines on. And so what I'm trying to do is, you can see this black line up here on this hill. I wanna follow that ridge line as best I can with a continuous curve. And uh, so if I just kind of come up here and just kind of wind my way along, just following this, I'm just trying to mirror the, um, you know, the topography of that hill. Just trying to keep it as close to as constant as I can. And let's see here, I'm gonna have to duck down just a little bit to get around this little ridge, but that's okay. And then maybe we can continue down along this other black line for a little bit. Yeah, we'll duck back down into here. And so you can kind of see what I'm doing here is I'm creating some man-made contour lines that really kind of accentuate the hillside. Just let you know where that hillside is. And uh, there we go. That's probably good for now. Let's back up. Okay, you can see that really clearly now. And then what I'll do is I'll follow in behind it. I'll just come through here. I'm gonna set this on, uh, there we go, uh, so we'll just start there. The snap to guidelines, just so I kind of had it lined up with the beginning there. And I'll turn that back off now and I'll just kind of do the best that I can to follow that. All right, sit back and relax while I draw these lines out. All right, that looks pretty good. And so now I can begin the process of placing my farms. And I'm gonna come down in here with a, uh, a specialized industry, a livestock farm. And I'm gonna turn off all that brightness. Oof. Uh, you can see the yellow circle here where it overlaps the, um, you know, the, the various paths there. Now I'm not gonna place this down just yet, but I wanna use it as kind of a guideline just to see how far up the, you know, up the hill this needs to be and where it needs to start. So I think that's probably a good spot right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna escape out here and I'm gonna come back in here and I want to grab that, um, let's go back to parallel road mode to offset and then bring that back up to like 3.75 and then somewhere right in here. I just wanna draw a straight line. In fact, yeah, I'll, I'll use this too wide. Let's see if it'll allow me to do it. Eh, probably not. So we'll just have to do this one step at a time. It doesn't have to be precise. This is where kind of the rustic element comes in. Let's see, ooh, slope too steep. 
Let's go a single and we'll just kind of come out here and go like so and so. Now I can come back in here and cut out these little center pieces. And then I'll cut out all the side pieces. And then we've got... And then we've got a nice little path to thread up our farming uh, area. So let's go back to a specialized industry, grab that livestock farm. And I can drop that right kind of into this spot. Let's just say right about here. Yeah, that should be good. And uh, my building didn't disappear. Oh, I have to do it again. <laughs> All right, so let's go back here and go livestock farming. Turn that off. Make sure that the building doesn't disappear too on you. That's, that's always a challenge as well. Get it up there nice and close. All right, now what I'll do is I'll start the process of filling these spots in. So I'm gonna pause the game for a second and I'm gonna come out here and I'm just gonna turn off all of my snapping. I'm gonna work my way up in between here. So I'm gonna follow as closely as I can to this, this path that's down here. And then when I get to the end here, I'll kind of just go nice and straight up there. So work my way all the way around this. And in doing so, what will eventually happen here is we're gonna create um, this terraced look that is gonna have some green in between it. It's gonna have the farmland and it's gonna have this this kind of fun terraced look about it. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna kind of bend it up there just so it kind of has a nice little curve. And we'll just keep working our way around there. Now this is the boring part. I'm gonna fast forward through it, so sit tight. And there, the first one is in. All right, let's zoom up and we can take a look at it. All right, so you see that as you come along through here, these paths are breaking all of that up. And then when we come in to remove those paths, uh, you'll see this wavy texture that kind of makes its way all the way around the hill. All right, we've got a bunch of these things to do. Okay, so it's time for me to do all the rest of them. And I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through this. So I'll be right back. All right, now that we've got all of those in place, I wanna come back down here. Uh, let's see, I'll just pick this spot here. And uh, I wanna come in and start removing these, um, these paths, because we don't need them anymore. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Just do them in that one section for the moment, and you can see you've got this nice terraced look. But that's just the beginning. Now, the way vanilla is grown is that it grows in a vine that snakes its way up a tree, as you can see in the picture here. And the, the vine will, will kind of cling to that tree and use that tree to, for support. It'll grow, it'll expand, the orchids, they bloom, and then you get the pods and you, know, you do the pollination, you get the pods and so forth. And so what I want to do is I want to come in here and take a pine tree. So I'm going to come into our pine trees and I'm going to go right down and along in here and I'm just going to start dropping in some pine trees right through this space. And I'm picking pine trees because they're going to stay nice and green even in the winter months here uh, in Pangasas Bay. Now, I'll just throw down a line of them here. And then I thought for our vanilla vines, we do something like grab this cultivated flower bush, which is a bright yellowish kind of looking bush. And I get that out there just a little bit so that it appears to be just kind of growing out of or underneath at the base of these pine trees. So if I come through and do them one at a time, kind of tucked in here behind the pine trees. And I probably should have picked an angle where the sun isn't in the in the way, but you can see those that are sitting in right underneath those. Now those pine trees will get quite large and they'll they'll cast a fair amount of shade. And then I could even come back in and put a cultivated green bush number two in here down underneath, just to add another piece of character, maybe down underneath here, just so that there's, you know, maybe a few pieces of, of, of you know, different colors that are in here that would, um, you know, give the indication that there's some sort of undergrowth or whatever that's that's coming in underneath those trees. So as I do that and I allow those pine trees to mature, I think they'll get very tall and then you'll have these little bushes underneath them that'll be a slightly different color. And then as you zoom out, 
this area will thicken up and get more green over time. In fact, I might even come in with, you know, just kind of a, a spreading of, of little tiny bushes and so forth here. Now, these little you know, recessions that are running down the hill here, these I can pepper up with, um, you know, with a lot, lots of different little bushes. So you can take some wild bushes, drop a few of those in there, and then some, you know, cultivated, and just kind of mix and match your way all the way down this little, this little um, ravine, if you will. And that could give the uh, appearance of being kind of like a little water runoff channel here making its way down the hill all right so that's how we'll decorate that up all right now with those in place i'm going to turn my focus on this hill here real quick like just to show you guys i've got a similar little hill that's right up here and i want to give a similar application to that now i'm not going to take you through it right now but just uh you know maybe during the time lapse we'll come in here and we'll put some little more little farms that kind of make their way along there just uh add it a little bit more uh detail in the space okay so our next step is to connect this road down into here and on off the edge of the map and we'll start that by coming in and first of all grabbing an elevation here let's grab this level terrain tool we'll grab this elevation right here and then i want to force that in over here somewhere just to create a landing spot for a bridge uh, I'll push that out a little bit in either direction. And then I've got, you can see this uh, kind of surface flattens off a little bit over here. So let's grab this slope terrain tool. We'll pick this elevation over here and just work our way down along the shore here. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but I kind of want to give it the uh, appearance of kind of a windy river road that makes its way along there. And then I've got this little straight area here in the river. I want to take advantage of that. In fact, I want to do, I just want to grab this you know, elevation here and flatten it out. And I'm going to put a big asset in this space. And that asset is going to be kind of an odd one that I'm going to use in lieu of a processing factory. And that is this recycle plant. And let's see, where's the road access? It's on this side, isn't it? So let's spin this around. And I, I think this is a really cool asset. Let me put that in place for you first. And then we'll talk about that. If I'm going to have all these vanilla farms, I'm going to want a kind of a processing factory that converts this all into the finished goods, maybe drying and aging and all of that good stuff. And I just thought this had a really nice look about it. It's, it's this green building here that sits well down in this forest. Uh, you've got these storage containers and tanks for shipping and and and, and whatnot. And then you've got this um, this little pile of debris over here. Maybe that's like some of the you know, I don't know some of the vine stalks and so forth that they're just kind of you know discarding and, and getting rid of. And you got these little shoots that run back and forth between these buildings and maybe they're shuttling product back and forth. I don't know. I just thought it seemed like the right building. So let's upgrade that one. We're going to add another building and then I'm going to drop in these little what they're called hazardous waste collection points. But to me, they just, again, look like little processing domes. You know, you get in there and, and they're they're working on the, uh, the finished product. All right, we'll frame this up with a road. Maybe just a simple alleyway. And that gives us a nice anchor point, if you will, now for our larger road, which will be just outside of it. The next step is to take and create a bridge down here. So we're going to come into our medium roads, four lane tied arch bridge, and we're going to just run that straight across here. Let's see if we can find a good anchor spot and just drive this right straight across. There you go. All right. And then we'll switch to a medium road. Just push this out ever so slightly. It doesn't have to go all that far. Just trying to create an intersection that's right off of the river. And then now I can work my way up along here. So let's uh, let's pick an elevation that's kind of sitting right in here. Maybe just carve this out just ever so slightly. And then I'm going to work my way from this road here up to this elevation point. So they're, they're gonna be pretty close to the same elevation, right? We'll just kind of snake our way along here, just carving that out a little bit, trying not to disrupt the hill too much. And now I've got this spot here where I can tie back to this spot over here. So let's once again, we'll increase the brush size this time. We'll come from here and just thread this down, I don't know, something along this line so it carves right through this little woods. I'm gonna switch to a four lane road. I'll attach that here, and I'm going to start out with a little straight segment. Just go straight. Sure, 80 meters is good. And then I'll start to kind of wind my way down through here. Now, I want this road to come straight past our processing factory, so that's probably going to be somewhere you know, right in here. I think I don't need to run all the way to the edge, just so I have a straight section, if you will. And then let's bend this back into here. We'll straighten that off run that right into there and now I can bend this curve and come down here and now on the other side of the road I want to start with a three-lane symmetrical road maybe come off of this point right here and just go straight out just a little bit and then I take our two-lane road and I'm going to start with this continuous curve and just kind of make our way out and again the intent here is this is just a kind of a 
lazy, windy riverside road that makes its way off the edge of the map. There you go. And so now we've connected up kind of at a macro level, this whole space here with an outside connection, a very modest one, a bridge coming across to our existing uh, road network. And then of course, we've got our main road that makes its way all the way back out to the freeway. With all that in place, we can now turn our attention to giving ourselves access to creating a little bit of little bitty hillside town here. And I, the first thing I want to do is I want to come in and attach this, uh, this alley road out here, maybe come out about so far and then just drive that up here into this road to create an intersection. And then we'll take our two lane road. I'm gonna turn off my snap to guidelines there. Just run that straight up. And I'm gonna bring that up. Let's call it about 100 and, yeah, let's do about 168 meters, just up into this space here. I'm gonna turn on my contour lines too. So that'll, that'll probably be helpful. And then from the main road, I wanna start kind of coming out here, maybe about so far out. And I'll draw this line out. Yeah, let's go 120 meters. And in this space, I wanna drop an elementary school in there. Uh, I think uh, this would be a great asset in this space because I, I envision like a little small mountain village or not mountain, but uh, ridgeside village. It's going to need to educate their little kiddos. And uh, let's see here. And we'll bring that out a little further, I guess. And then let's see from here. What does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe from this point right here, I'm just going to stem right off here. I'm going to follow that orientation for now. And I want to create a little tiny block in here, maybe something around here. And this is where we start to have residential kind of sitting in this space by the um, by the elementary school. Now, from our main road here, I want to just do an offset road. I want to come out here and change the angle, change the orientation. So it, you see this ridge line there? I want to kind of follow that a little bit. So make it kind of a steep angle. And then um, how, how big was this block? 72 meters. All right, let's so let's go from this point here and go up 72 meters. And that's where I want to come across in this direction. Yeah, right there for now is fine. And in that space, what I'd like to do is put in uh, maybe a little fire station right down at the at the top of that eh, somewhere right along there. And then in here, let's box this up. And it's it's kind of okay to have a little janky wonky intersection in a hillside town. I don't think that uh, it was all about perfection when they were just putting this village in up here. Uh, and then right across the street from this um, firehouse, let's put in a little small park. Just to create like a little town center kind of a vibe to it. I can come back in with another road and frame that up. And so now you've got two little segments there. Maybe there'll be some some little shops in this, this, this block right here next to it. And then this area here, I can develop out uh, into some additional residential houses, uh, you know, re residential developments. So uh, did we say we went 120 out? Let's just measure that again. 96. All right. So where would 120 be? So let's bring this out. 24 more. That gets you to 120. And then we'll just box that off. So that'll be the, the, the core of our little residential segment right down through here. Again, not a lot of houses. That's not the intent. It's just to give us a little worker village. Now, before I start painting in all of those residential buildings and those little houses, I'm going to want to try and figure out my road network to get you up to these farms that are up here. And I thought, well, what's better than to use just a simple gravel road? Um, I want to just smooth out the terrain here that are around these approaches. In fact, maybe I'll come in and level that out and then I'll smooth it down in, in here. And then I just want to take a gravel road. Um, in fact, I, this one, I doesn't even need to go all the way up to the far edge of the farm. It can come straight, straight down into there. So now we've got a connection point there. Let's do one here as well. And um, do I want to connect from that? Yeah, I'm going to connect from this side over here. And then over here, to get all the way out to here, you know, what I thought was we can create some sort of a loop that comes up and around here and then snakes its way back around because again, we're going to have another farm up here. I'm taking advantage of this ridge here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll stem right off of this road here and we're going to come out with a continuous curve. There, that's it. That's in place there. And then sit tight while I connect all the rest of these. There, now we've got them all connected up. And uh, you know, before I hit uh, before I hit the pause button and, and get the game going again, the next thing we need to do is we need to connect up with some electricity. And uh, let's see here, does that electricity carry across this bridge? I think it might. Yeah. How about some sewer and water? How does that work? 
Does that come across a bridge? No, it does not. So let's just connect that up. Take sewer water combined pipe. We'll just run that right across this bridge here. And that should connect all of those together. So now if I hit the play button, hopefully, let's just see, everything should light up. And it did. We're in business. So with everything connected, now we can come in here and build out our residential blocks. And I'm just going to do it go, and I'm going to use alleyways. Let's just continue on that, that plan there. I'll go out 120 meters. Let's see here. Come back up. What did we say this was? 72? Yeah, 72. All right, let's do that. There we go. And then we can bring this down into here. Just a simple, modest town. Let's, um, let's start populating in here. I'm going to come in with some houses here, and I want to have European-style architecture, U low-density housing. I'm going to turn off that bright white. I'll just start putting some of these in here. Yeah, so that's our first residential block. We'll do the same over here in the next one. And then let's put some commercial in here. Just some small commercial zones, nothing fancy. A couple small little uh, modest office buildings back in here too, just little two by twos. So that'll fill in and, and create this small little town effect in this space, perfect. Now there's one more asset that I wanna drop in town here before we make our way out to build out our summer camp, and that is a road maintenance depot. And I want that to sit maybe kind of right in this space here. Uh, if I can level this out just enough, I'm gonna carve back in here, let's smooth this out now. And let's see if a road maintenance depot fits right in there. That's in here. Let's turn off all that brightness. All right, let's put that right here on the edge of town. And I thought that would be a nice little, uh, maybe it's like the initial collection point from all the stuff coming out of the farms that are gonna be up around in here and then back up along the ridge side. Okay, all right, now let's, uh, oh, the rain's coming down, I like it. Let's make our way out of town here and we've got this nice little country road and that's gonna make its way past this, uh, this last farm here and down into this space over here. This is where we're gonna put our kids' summer camp and this should be pretty neat. Now to build out our kids' summer camp, we're gonna wanna have lots of activities, right? Because this is a place mom and dad want the kids to get away from <laughs> get away from them during the months that they're not in school. Look at that beautiful view of downtown. Uh, and just get out and stretch their legs and have some fun outdoors. So I want to come in here. I don't want to do a lot of terraforming. I just want to tidy up some anything that seems to be a rough edge. And honestly, I don't see a whole lot in the way of rough edges. I think this is going to be a very forgiving space. So let's let's talk about some activities here. Um, I, I maybe what I'll do just temporarily is I'm going to drop some stuff down on this side of the shore here. I want to come into our parks area here and I want to get a park maintenance depot. I want to have that in this space. Uh, I want to have um, a large city park. I want to have some basketball courts and maybe a soccer field. Let's see here, soccer field. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put in some campfire sites too. I think those were in the small park here. Yeah, campfire sites. One, two, maybe four of those. And uh, let's see, is there anything else we want to put in there? How about a pool, right? You got to have a pool. Uh, where's that? Sports parks? No. Large sports parks? There we go, a pool. Uh, and then I think that should probably be good. Maybe some playgrounds too. Let, let's see here. Aren't there playgrounds? Large playground? Yeah, we can do that. And are there some smaller ones too? Yeah, we can dot a few of those in there. Maybe three all around here and there. So I just threw those down here just so we can see what they all look like. And now I'll work on getting those you know, placed up into this space up here. All right, first things first, let's take advantage of this curve in this river here. And I wanna grab one of my campfire sites. I'm gonna move that over here just real quick, like uh, turn off all that bright whiteness. And we're gonna put this guy right in, let's say here. Okay, so that gives me an idea of how far back from the, um, you know, from the water I need to be. I take this gravel road and run that right straight along that edge there. And then let's take and, and meander that gravel road kind of back towards the uh, to, towards the entrance of the camp. And now I should have a nice place for us to put in all the rest of those little campfire sites. Let's let's do that real quick, like. There, we've got those in place. And now the next thing I want to focus on is kind of creating the campground entrance in here. And um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to come out here with this and do a continuous curve, bend this around to here, uh, and then we'll come straight back in, maybe down to about here and do the same thing again, a little continuous curve. And then let's go hmm, complex curve coming straight out of here. 
Yeah, that's nice. And now I can grab that park maintenance building and the swimming pool that I had set aside over here. Bring those over into this space here. So you've got that curved building front to that park maintenance building. Very nice and inviting. And then you've got the community pool. I'll just sit in right next to it because I think you'd want to have those, you know, side by side. So the, you know, there's a whole bunch of maintenance going on up there. All right, very good. Now let's see here. Let's find a nice big flat area of land. We'll create one, I guess, for our soccer field. And I think this spot right up in here seems like a good spot. That way we can just pull back that, you know, that ridge line ever so slightly. And then I want to take that and orient it so that the stands are facing out you know, towards the river. Yeah, it sits up there nicely. And then I've got, let's see here, the city park. Ooh. Um, and that actually might be kind of a cool piece right as you're coming into the uh, park entrance here. Just so that they're all together. Maybe I'll just set it right here in the center of that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then uh, let's see here. Let's let's dot in the rest of these uh, basketballs, uh, basketball courts and small playgrounds in there. All right, now we'll connect the road back in here. Yeah, in fact, I think I might want to stem off of here just so we're not disrupting that farm. We'll start the game and hopefully that stuff should all light up. Oh, we got to connect up the soccer field. Forgot about that. Sure, let's do that. Now we've got everything all connected. And so there's your there's your summer camp for the kiddos, right? You've got lots of fun activities to do. You got pools, you got parks, you got soccer, you got basketball, you got just lots of fun activities for the kids to, to enjoy while they're off at summer camp, uh, getting away from mom and dad. All right, now this feels like a really good spot for us to jump into a beautification time lapse. I've got a lot of work to do out here. Uh, and let's just kind of go back and recap some things here. I want to build out the rest of the farms on this little rise here. So we're going to build out our the rest of our vanilla plantations up here. Um, I'm going to you know, tidy up the edges of this road here, just clean things up a little bit. Maybe add some more definition to our recycling center. I want to fill in this little town a little bit. Again, I don't want it to be too dense, but I just want to make sure that we're taking advantage of the, the space that we've set aside for it. And then I want to make my way back out to the summer camp here and maybe it, you know change this approach a little bit, just kind of you know tidy things up there. And then this hill going up here looks a little steep. I'll just smooth that out and rebuild that. Add in a couple of more assets, I think, that would seem appropriate in this space. And we'll just kind of go from there. All right. Why don't you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse. Let's reconnect here afterwards and we can recap our sculpture.
Welcome back. And I give you Melipona Mountain. Yes, Melipona Mountain was our rural build, which was a really vast departure from what we've been doing over the last few episodes in the downtown area. As you recall, we spent the last, oh, maybe four or five episodes way over there in downtown. And you can see how far out we are. We're kind of at the very edge of the map here with Melipona Mountain. And we built out our big, beautiful vanilla plantations today. So there's a lot to unpack in this episode. Let's just jump right on in. We start off with this little village here that we've got. That's kind of right down along the riverfront. And you got this little village that has what I would envision are all of the plantation workers, people who are out there taking care of all the vanilla beans and, you know, pruning the trees and trimming the vines and maybe even helping with the pollination at some times because vanilla is one of those plants that, yes, humans can hand pollinate. It's pretty cool. Now, there are a couple of assets in this place here. We've got our initial warehouse facility here. That's our, I guess it's our road maintenance depot that we've kind of repurposed into a you know, collection point. And then we've got our processing center back here along the river, our recycling uh, facility that we repurposed into a processing facility. We've got these bright white tanks over here on the right, lots of extra storage wrapping around in the back, lots of bins, lots of containers. All right, let's just jump right on into our top five design element. <laughs> and that would be our twin vanilla plantations. We've obviously got this big, huge one up on this hill here, but we also brought in this little one down here along this rise that's a little bit closer to the river. And, you know, as you get down in there, you can see those little livestock farms. We repurposed those and threaded those down along to kind of mimic the uh, terrain lines, if you will, of those hills. And then I even added some drainage ditches that run right straight down through there as well. And you can see we have all of our big, tall pine trees in there with all of our vanilla vines that are starting to sprout up underneath. Now, those will eventually take over those trees and climb all the way up. And we'll have lots of vanilla production here in Pangasus Bay. All right. That's pretty, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, that was a, it was a strange use for those. And that's kind of where my brain goes sometimes. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that part of it. I dropped in some watchtowers up above those because heaven forbid we'd have a fire in those, in those plantation, you know, groves. We wouldn't want to have that. And I've got a water tower sitting on top of the hill. Now, the final big piece of our build was putting in our, uh, you know, summer day camp, if you will, for our kids here in Pangasus Bay. You come down here, you've got the day camp entrance, a little gravel road because that just seems kind of natural and normal uh, for a summer camp. And you've got this grand entrance and it comes into an area where you've got a swimming pool and kind of the big lodge here. You've got a little park here with a little band shell. Maybe there are some plays and performances that go on in there. And then I put in a whole bunch of little cabins all dotted throughout here. You see this, I'm there, a couple of them right along here, right in front of our big soccer field. Yeah, making our way around this loop. Lots of activities, basketball courts. We've got playgrounds. We've got these campfire sites with the trees they've thickened in really nicely and then I even worked in a whole series of walking trails kind of making their way up towards the base if you will of Melipona Mountain. Now remember since those bees don't sting up there you can walk freely all around these uh, trails and not have to worry about uh, aggravating any of those bees. All right well the rain's starting to fall that's probably our cue to get the heck out of here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this build as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was a lot of fun. And like I said, it was it was very different. Uh, I'm glad we're finding new and innovative ways to make use of the in-game vanilla assets. Sure makes for an interesting game. As a reminder, we are a small but growing channel thanks to your support. You guys have been supporting us a lot lately and, uh, and I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, if you saw something that you liked today, feel free to leave us a comment down below. And also while you're at it, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest here in Pangasus Bay and the Grand Vanillica series in general. Well, with that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>